Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to video and today we're asking are you using the right sensitivity and why is this potentially going to be so much more important to a lot of players than it was before? Now if you end up finding this video helpful or enjoyable then I genuinely appreciate taking that split second to hit the like button as always. With that being said, let's talk sensitivity. This topic will mainly apply to console players and that's how I'm going to be directly addressing in this video but PC players should still be able to take a pointer here and there. So I made a full settings guide some time back which I'll link to in the description if you haven't already seen it and that might cause you to question why I'm bringing this up now rather than then and at this relatively late stage in the game's life cycle. Well there is a big potential reason and I'll get to that soon but first it seems worthwhile mentioning that sensitivity in Battlefield 1 has somewhat less of a direct negative impact upon most players gameplay. That's because of the very strong auto rotation that's present which helps to pull you to the target. This actually allows for higher sensitivity usage among some players so they can react more quickly to situations and then rely on the auto rotation system to help them out. Now the same obviously can't be said for if you're using a scope weapon, if you play hardcore, or if you just choose to play without auto rotation. In these instances having the correct sensitivity is obviously tantamount to your success in gunfights. Whichever scenario happens to fit you, have you considered if you're actually on the correct sensitivity for you, or if you're just getting used to a subpar one and your muscle memory just kind of deals with it. Or perhaps it's never really felt natural to you, and you've just assumed that you're not that great when it comes to gun skill. Well this might not be the case. One of the main reasons this has been in my head recently is because I've started playing Fortnite Battle Royale and the aiming just didn't feel right to me for a long time. It just didn't feel natural and I couldn't react on the fly as I wanted to but I knew that if I found the right settings then eventually something would click and I could start to build up some good habits. Well recently I turned a metaphorical corner on that game which has allowed me to start playing how I would like to and I can now focus on improving my overall skill set. So this shows that I'm not just automatically able to pick up and play a game with ease and it's likely to be a similar case for most of you. Now of course there's every possibility that you might already be using the correct sensitivity. Whether you are or not you can start checking it, especially the vast majority of players who use auto rotation. And this is where the point comes in that I alluded to earlier. A while back I covered the potentially game changing patch that DICE are apparently working on which will reduce the overall amount of auto rotation present in the game, at least on console. It really has been some time since I first heard about that but I assume that it will likely be hitting at some point in the future. If you want to safeguard against if this does eventually happen, or if you just want to improve your shot now, whether it happens or not, be it with or without auto rotation, then start paying attention to how your gunfights are going. You can start to consciously take note of if you manage to land your crosshair on the target as quickly as you intend to. Are you over aiming? Are you under aiming? Flying past the target means you've likely got your sensitivity too high. Struggling to get your crosshair to the target in time means you've likely got it too low. Where auto rotation players are concerned, you could try to play without it, or using scoped weapons like snipers, or playing in hardcore and see how you fare. If you're able to record your gameplay, then record a game or two and watch it back. See what your habits are, and how quickly you can acquire the target. What's stopping you from doing it more quickly and reliably? Work it out and adjust accordingly. If you end up in a pre-game lobby at some point, then try to aim at specific things as quickly as you can, because there's not really anything else to do while you're in there. Are you over-aiming? Are you under-aiming? You get the idea. Overall, if you're on the right sensitivity now, or if you find the right one after this at some point, practice makes perfect. Muscle memory is the key as I've mentioned before, so get out there, have fun and improve as a player. But this is all just my opinion, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below, there's a link towards the bottom of the description to support the channel for $4.99 a month, if you're feeling especially generous today, it will be appreciated more than you likely even think. And feel free to like, favourite and subscribe. I'm GetGoodGuy and I'll see you next time. Latest.